Hey, it's 3D Beats again. And this is part three of my tutorial. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to make the back and the front if we have time. So what I did in between the part three and part two, I just made this hole a little bigger, fixed it up a bit, so it didn't look so weird. So, yeah. Uh, so, now we're going to add the back. So what you do, you add mesh in um, object mode, not in item mode, because it's where it can be a separate object. Then click T. You can bring the vertices on to like um, 8 to 10 or 10, 8 to 12, but I usually just do it at 8 because if you put it in smooth, it feels like a cylinder, so it's good. Okay, so I just rotate that 90 degrees by clicking R the 90. Scale it down a little bit. And you gotta make it so that it actually like pokes to the same, pokes to the good side. Okay, so now that you have that, you can just like drag it out to not to extrude it, then extrude it at the end and scale it down to make it look like uh, that a little bit to make it look like that shaded down there. And you can just do this, um, just click A twice, select the whole thing, and you can just move it down to put it here. So they're pretty much the same thing. So then, um, I'm just going to add another cylinder and same thing, click T, go to 8, do whatever you want to make it so it doesn't lag out much. Then you put it over there, scale it down, and this is going to be the center, so you need to make this bigger than the other two, like, not this much, but this bigger, so like, probably that would be good. So, make sure to find like that. Yep. And then in the back, you select this, uh, you, now once you select it, you just extrude it, scale it, crap. Now you extrude it, you scale it down to make it look like a little rounded, I guess. Then you do the same thing with this, except now we're going straight to this part. So you want to scale it down where it changes color, too, not just where it, like, ends. Okay. Uh, wait, I gotta do control Z a little bit and move this down because this is in a bad position. It's too high up, so I gotta make it, like, close to correct. And that should probably be good. So, yeah, so now I do that again. Just scale it down a little bit. And you can see there's like a little black part there. I'm a little ahead, so I'm just going to extrude it out and put it all the way through. Because we'll put that part in later. So then you go back to this, extrude it. And now you're not just putting it to where the edges are. You have to do it to where the colors are because we're going to add colors at the end of this video. So you scale it down a little bit. You extrude it out. Extrude it again, scale, scale to where I got there, and extrude again, and extrude it at the end of scale. So now you have like a suspicionist back, a uh, suspicion thingamajig. I love my words, thingamajig. Yeah. So you extrude it again on that part, you scale it down. Oh, I know. So what you can do here, you can just select both of your cylinders, and you can just, I oh, know, that never mind, that won't work. So you just extrude this. Scale it down, extrude it out a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to add some of these, not all, these little like ridges. I'm not sure if you can see them, but it goes up and down. So, so all you do for that, you extrude it, extrude it again, scale it up, extrude it, extrude it again, scale it up. And just do that a bunch of times so you're like happy with it on how many you have. Yeah. Uh, and once we finish this part, you can just copy the first cylinder and move it down, which we probably shouldn't have done earlier. Cause we just have to do twice as much work. So yeah. Okay, so... And they don't all have to be perfect because, like, nothing's perfect in real life either, unless you made the machine, of course. Yeah. So you get it, like, close to this. And I'm pretty much done. I'm, this is going to be my last one. I'm not going to add the last few. So then I'm just going to make it about the... I know. I have to extrude it one more time, scale it up so it's about the size of the pipe before. Then extrude it out, extrude it one more time, and then scale it in. And there you go. It has all the grips on it. Which, if the grips are like way too uneven, it doesn't matter if they're a little uneven because, like I said, nothing's perfect. You can just like fix it up a little bit and until you're happy with it. Like some of these are way too wide or way too thin. I'm just gonna leave the thin ones and make the wide ones a little better. Okay. 
So then I'm just going to save that. And now I'm just going to select the whole thing. Alright, first I'm going to delete the cylinder because that was kind of pointless to me. So just delete that. And I didn't delete it all. And you want to make sure you delete the vertices, not the faces this time. It makes it a lot easier. So you select all those. Select the rest of the cylinder. I mean, you, sure, you got to make sure you don't select anything else, which is why I'm zooming in a bunch. Because I don't want to select anything else. Okay, so now that you have that, you just click Shift D, move it down, and then you should get something like that. And there you go, you finished most of that part. And I don't think I'm going to have time to do the front, so we're just going to finish that. And I saved too much. Okay, so add mesh. You can mean the same object going to this one, it doesn't really matter. But I like editing them separately, so uh, just scale it down. It has to be thicker than the tubes, but not much. Well, no, it has to be thinner than the tubes. That was wrong. Uh, so you get it thinner than the tubes. So not that. That's not good enough. Okay, crap. Mm -hmm. That. So you should get something like that. So then you click the V, move it so that the edges are on that, and then you can start working. So you click V again. Well, I'm still going to make it a little thinner because I just have to get it perfect. I'm perfecting the peanut. Okay, so I move this up. Move this down. Move this to the side. Okay, so I gotta put this up a little. And since this doesn't have to have that much detail on it, you don't have to do what you do with the handle and make it look like a little rounder, or not square like, not really round, but, yeah, then, so on the end I'm just going to scale it in a little bit, so it looks less boring, and then you can just add another cylinder, add more cylinder, two, eight, rotate 90 degrees, do the same, scale it down, and this is pretty much going to be right here, where it like pops out a little bit. So, move this in, grab it, need to finish more, you just scale, scale it out so it goes in, all the way. Yeah, so, and I think there's a little hole in there, like, you can barely see it, but there is, which I kind of don't want to bother to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, just go to space. You select all these. You got You click delete. Make sure you click spaces, otherwise it'll end up like that, which you don't want. So just do the spaces. Then you select the cylinder. Um, I think this will work. I'm not positive. But then you click extrude. You scale it in. And then you move it out a bit. So. And there you have it. There's a hole in it. And it's not hollow. So. And then you can. You should probably copy that uh, to Shift D and bring it down to here because there's one in the front of this too. So I'm just going to move that in a bit. I like put it out there. And never mind, I'm going to move this out more. I like put it out there. Okay, and there's now one on the top, so you don't have to bother with that. I'm just going to make it look a little different and just move it in a bit. Uh, move it in a bit, scale it down so it doesn't look the exact same. Okay, uh, so I think that's all the time I have. I'm not sure because my video is all weird and it doesn't show how much time I have. So, yeah, so in my next video, I'm going to make the front, maybe the tripod, and I'll probably do that first. But, yeah, so see ya.